Hey guys, today on my channel we have a very special guest and that's none other than my mommy. She was here with me for Mother's Day so of course I had to do her makeup. I'm gonna show you a super fresh makeup that you can do it for your mom or anyone with a little bit mature skin. I've also included a lot of tips that you can use while doing this makeup. Now is the perfect time to do this makeup since you're gonna spend a lot of time with your family. So do try it out and let me know how it works. Keep watching! So we're gonna start with some skincare. We're gonna start with the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Ultra Gentle Daily Peel. For step one is the exfoliate and smooth. This helps to exfoliate the skin before the makeup application and helps get rid of texture. Now we're gonna go with the step two, which is the same Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Ultra Gentle Daily Peel. It's an anti-aging neutralizer. Next up, we're gonna go with the Too Faced Hangover Good in Bed Hydrating Serum. I love using the serum on my skin. It also works for instant hydration and plumping in mature skin. Then I will go with the Forest Essential Sundaria Radiance Skin Cream. This is the ultimate beautiful moisturizer that I've been using recently. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> for mature skin, I would recommend you to use a little bit more moisturizer. Now I will set the moisturizer with powder. Lately, I've been using the skin prep technique which helps makeup look fresh and last longer. We only need a little powder for it. For more on this technique, check out my video. Usually mature skin tends to be dry so you don't want to use too much powder because that's, that will make it even more drier. I'm going to apply some Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Next, we will go in with the primer. The primer is the most important step that we are going to use in today's makeup because that is going to help the makeup stay on longer and it's also going to help it not crease. I'm going to fill in her brows. I don't want to, you know, make the brows really dark or anything. I'm going to set her brows with some brow setter gel. We're not going too much into the brows. We're going to keep it as natural as possible. Now I'm going to put the NARS eyeshadow primer. You want to go really light-handed with any product on mature skin because otherwise it's going to settle into fine lines. I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. It's my go-to palette for a lot of looks. I'll go with shade Burnt Orange to define the crease. Go in sweeping motions from the outside inwards to blend it. Then I'll go with shade Antique Bronzer in the outer corner of the eyes and blend it well. Warm colors go well with her skin tone. Now I'll use this coppery shade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. We'll just go over the entire lid with it. I'll go with the tiniest bit of shade Primavera from the same palette. If you use a liquid eyeliner, it will make your eyes look smaller. So instead, we only opted for black eyeshadow, which will define the eyes but not make it look small. Next up, we're gonna go in with the color corrector. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in shade 3W. Next is the foundation. I'm gonna be using the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in shade 7. So again, in mature skin, it's better if you use a beauty blender to blend the foundation because that's going to give a very subtle, natural look instead of looking cake look. No Indian look is ever complete without a kajal, so I've used a Sephora Collection kajal in brown for her. We're gonna do very soft contouring for her. In general, I like to use only a bronzer for contouring. I'm going to use the Milano blush in Luminoso. It's a perfectly peachy pink color and it goes really well on Indian skin tone. I'm using it on the high points of her cheeks. I'm gonna go in with the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. That's my favorite mascara so far. It's better than some of the luxury brands that I've tried. Okay, the last step is the lipstick. I am going to fill her lips with a lip liner first. And the lipstick is my absolutely favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills shade Catherine. Last step is the makeup setting spray. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Let me know in the comments below how did you spend your Mother's Day.